What is going on everyone? This is Marshmallow Matt and welcome today to The Dark Side Detective. It's a new game that was just released online and I'm so excited to play it. It looks like something's right up my alley. Uh, it looks really cool. A little adventure point and click game. Let's just get right into it. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, I'm sure we'll find out. I gotta check my casebook I guess. That looks like that's the only thing I can do right now. Let's check my casebook. Okay, so I'm a detective. Uh, case 1. Malice in Wonderland. Oh, hell yeah. Investigate Malice in Wonderland? Yes, please. Let's do this shit. Ooh, I'm scared. Malice. Officer Dooley. Whoa, I almost shot you there, detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Dooley, you watched me drive up. Uh-oh. I had my siren on. You waved at me as I pulled in. <laughs> uh, so I'm Detective McQueen. I guess this place has me spooked out a little. So what happened here? Chief Scully just called me up and told me to get here ASAP. No details. Seven-year-old kid Jenny went missing a day ago. No sign of her leaving the house. Seems to be the kind of spooky crap. I mean, the kind of case you're into, Detective. Great. Let's just get started. Okay. Uh, is there anything I can look at outside? No, let's just go in. Oh, who's this guy? Roy Jones. Officer Dooley. Why is there a hobo dripping all over my carpet? Eh, that's Detective McQueen, Mr. Jones. He's here to investigate. I see. Twin Lakes Finest, eh? Yeah. What do you got in this ashtray? I hope you don't smoke around your kid. Thankfully, Detective, I'm rarely around my kid. Okay. Uh, what's this painting? Nice schooner? Haha, <laughs> you dummy, it's not a schooner, it's a sailboat! A schooner is a sailboat, Dooley. Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, let's go look upstairs. Oh my god, there's so much to look at. Uh, let's look in the daughter's bedroom first. Oh, Mrs. Jones is in here crying. Okay, let's look at some of this shit. Uh, tree, pony, man. Uh, what's this man? This could be a drawing of our suspect. Really? I'll put out an APP then. No, Dooley, don't do that. Tree. Looking at this, I doubt she's going to art school. <laughs> oh, I've never seen a horse with five legs before. All right, pens. This is no time for art, detective. Blacklight, this looks useful. You received item. Marker. Okay, cool. Cool! Drawers. What's in the drawers? I don't have much use for a dozen pink socks. Uh, same thing in the bottom drawer. Okay. Uh, let's talk to Mrs. Jones. Uh, hello. Can I, can I ask? My baby! My baby's gone! <laughs> can you tell me about Jen? She just disappeared! My baby! Is there anything? You have to find her! Goodbye. Find her! Okay, I don't know why I gave Mrs. Jones the same dialect as uh, Officer Dooley here. What's Teddy say? Tell me where she is, bear! I'm only kidding. You don't know, you're only a bear. A stupid knows nothing bear. Oh, that's not nice. Alright, I guess we can leave here. Uh, what's on the phone? What an odd place for a telephone. They must have run out of place to draw. I, I mean, put it. <laughs> okay. So maybe the phone's something important. What's in these flowers? A place that's fancy deserves something nicer than plastic flowers. Let's check the master bedroom. Oh, the nanny's in here. What's a nanny doing in the master bedroom? Nothing suspicious, that's for sure. No siree. Tell me about Jenny. She's, um, spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. But that's what having super rich parents will do to you, I guess. How long have you been working for the Jones? Jones is detective. Even though it ends with an ish, you still pluralize it. Is now really the best time? Dooley, it's always a good time for grammar. Anyway, answer the question. Long enough to harbor no ill will whatsoever. Okay, goodbye. We're done here, for now. I'll get back to work and nothing else. Oh, good. Okay, what's this family photo? Jenny and her mom look quite happy here. Well, that's good. Oh, what's in these drawers? Seems impolite to go rifling about in someone's drawers uninvited. Well, we gotta do what we gotta do, Dooley. Calm the fuck down. Very fancy. 
Looks like something's been kicked under here. No, it doesn't! You received item strange page! Ah! What are you hiding? What are you hiding, Nanny? Alright. Uh, let's check this painting out. Poor woman must be worried sick about her kid. We'll find her, detective. What's on this strange page? It's a peculiar pattern from the Occult for Dummies book. Interesting. Okay, uh, I gotta put this marker under a black light. That's not a black light, that's a regular regular light. Okay, I'm done in here. Checked under the bed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get out. Alright, uh, shall we look up in the attic? Let's do it. Ooh, we're going up. Paint cans. Those look heavy enough to knock someone out cold. Yeah, they do. Broken lamp. Hmm. May not be broken after all, just a blown bulb. Okay, paint thinner. The paint thinner fell when the shelf gave way. Not much left of it now. Oh, I got some paint thinner, though. That's good. Boxes? Just a bunch of forgotten memories and a broken shelf. Looks like this gave way recently, spilling paint thinner all over the wall. Hmm. Do I... Is this a... Is this a black light? Dooley. Is that go? This one's extra creepy. Thanks, Dooley. Thank you. Okay, let's go down. Uh, we'll go back down the stairs, and let's go look in the hallway here. Oh my god, there's three things in this hallway? Uh, well, chandelier. One of those crystals is worth more than I get paid in a year. We could take one! Y you went, uh, you passed the corruption test. Well, well done, pre well done, detective. This reminds me of my own grandfather. Your grandfather was a clock? What? No, he had a clock. Shame. I thought I'd finally find out something interesting about you. What? I'm interesting? Whatever you say, detective. Okay, let's go check. Uh, we'll check in the closet first. This will be small. Jesus. We had to both go in the closet and shut the door? What's in this box of junk? Hmm, a black light bulb. May as well take it. Sweet. Now we need a disco ball, some white clothes, fat beats, and we got ourselves a good ass night. Let's celebrate after we find the kid, eh? Nice, we got the black light bulb. We can take that up to the lamp in the attic. Uh, let's check what's in the living room. Oh wait, this is the living room, okay. Uh, let's check the study, locked. I wonder where I find a key. Hmm, interesting, okay. Well, let's talk to Mr. Jones. So how can I help you, detective? Tell me about Jenny. I'll level with you, detective. I don't have much dealings with her. She has a limited conversation pool. She's seven. Exactly, a tedious age. <laughs> so I leave that to the nanny. She's around here somewhere. Where were you last night? How come you didn't notice she was missing? Oh wait, that was wrong voice. I was, I was, I was out. How wonderfully shady. Have you got an alibi? Where I was is none of your business, detective. My taxes pay your salary. They also pay for the cell and questioning room I'm gonna have Dooley here take you to. Fine, call this number. They'll vouch for me. Busty Bells Booty Boutique. Classy stuff. Ah, Bells. Fond memories. <laughs> I mean, where was he? A bell shop? <laughs> okay, we got, wait, we got matches. Oh, that's got the number on it. Okay. Uh, Mr. Jones, I want access to your study. I'd love to help, Detective, but it seems to have, I have seemed to have misplaced the key. So sorry. I'm sure you did, you son of a bitch. I've taken up enough of your time. And I have nothing further to say, Detective. Kindly leave me be. Okay. Well, uh... Whoa, these folks must be millionaires. Astute. Astute observation. I don't know, place for a telephone. Uh, let's use the matches on the phone. I'd better check Roy's alibi. Nice. We're dialing. Hello? Is this Bells? Busty Bells Booty Boutique. Busty Bells Bosom Bordello? Busty Bells Bun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that yes would have been enough. I'm a thorough woman. Oh, I bet you are, Belle. I bet you're very thorough. No question left unanswered. No desire unfulfilled. No fantasy unexplored. No. Okay, I get the, I get the picture. Are you sure? I could send you one if you'd like. <laughs> Was a Mr. Roy Jones in your establishment last night? Couldn't say. Client confidentiality. Identities are concealed sometimes in masks. Wink, wink. This is a police matter. I'm Detective Francis McQueen. Frankie McQueen of the Dark Side Division. Y yes Tell Dooley I say hello. Oh, God, Dooley. I'm glad the screen resolution does let you make out I'm blushing. 
Happy to help a friend of Dooley's. Yep, Roy Boy was in here last night. Roy Boy? Some questions. Even a badge won't get you answered. Oh, God. I don't want the answer. Okay, goodbye. Thank you. That's all I need for now. If you find yourself needing anything else, just pop on by. And I'll pop on out. I added in the last part, guys. Look at me. I'm adding in. I'm ad-libbing. Uh, let's get this black light bulb and put it in the lamp. Hmm. Maybe not broken after all. Just blown bulb. What the fuck? I mean, what the heck? <laughs> well, that doesn't look ominous at all. Oh, my God. Uh, what is this? The pattern on the wall looks washed out in places. I wonder what would happen if I redrew it. Oh, I have a marker. Okay, I should have everything I need. Let's get down to some occult hijinks. I just need to redraw the missing symbols. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I gotta, I gotta draw this. Uh, well I need this one down here. There we go. Okay. And then I need this one right here. Nice. And then I need this one right here. Bingo. Bingo, bango, bongo. That should be it. Sweet. That was cool. G great. Maybe now's a good time to stop doing, well, anything really. Should we go in? Let's go into the dark side doorway. Even I'm not fool enough, foolish enough to not go in there with no light. Okay. Wait, I have, I have paint thinner. And matches. That's a rookie mistake. <laughs> matches? Uh, how do, where do I get a light from then? I didn't ever see a flashlight or anything. Just a bunch of forgotten memories. Paint cans. Uh, let's go back downstairs. Let's see if I can find a light. I, I didn't see a light anywhere, I don't think. Is there a light in here, Nanny? Nanny McPhee? Say, you're the Nanny. The very innocent Nanny, yes. Do you have any keys for the various rooms? I'm a nanny, not a maid. Right, but do you? Yes. <laughs> May I have the key to the study, then? Sure. There's nothing incriminating in there, anyway. Sweet, we got the study key. There's probably a flashlight in there. Okay, sweet. Uh, what can you tell me about the demonic doorway in the attic? Nothing. Not a thing. It's nothing to do with me, that's for sure. I was here the whole time! Okay, goodbye. You're, you're no more help. I got the key. I'll get back to work and nothing else. Great. Okay, let's go downstairs. Come on, Dooley. We're going down here, and let's go into the study. And hey, presto, we're in. Uh, dog statue. This statue is ugly enough to be worth a lot of cash. <laughs> what do you got to say for yourself in here, Dooley? You can never trust a man with too many books, that's what I say. Yeah. How many books are too many? Six. <laughs> and how many books do you own? I don't feel comfortable with this line of questioning. <laughs> I love Dooley! Okay. Uh, fuck me. Fuck me. Painting. Roy Jones Esquire. It takes a certain type of person to have an oil painting of themselves. You're damn right about that. Uh, magazine stack. His magazine collection. Jeez, this guy's obsessed with jugs. <laughs> jugs Weekly. <laughs> Another lovely pair. <laughs> God damn it. A nice collection of books. Shame, the dust suggests they haven't been looked at in some time. A uh, lantern! An old oil lantern. Seems to have some oil left, too. Hell yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. Alright, uh, what's in this armchair? Hey, there are only two seats in this house! Don't be daft, Dooley. There are more. They're just off camera. Of course. Of course they are. Alright. Uh, let's see what he has to say about me, uh, being in his, his little area. It's not gonna help you, Detective. Mr. Jones, there seems to be an evil doorway in your attic. Just as well you're here, then. Go arrest it. It's trespassing. I'm sorry? You heard me. Arrest it. I want to press full charges. Okay, you're, you're a son of a bitch. You're a son of a bitch. I will leave you be. Alright, let's go back up into the attic. Uh, attic, please. Nice. Okay, so when we're up in the attic, we need to put some paint thinner in the lantern. Nope, that's a rookie mistake. Let's, there we go. I should probably light this thing. You know, just in case you received lantern lit. Oh, it's about to get lit, guys. Let's go into the doorway with the lantern. Okay, Dooley, let's do this. No harm, detective. But, uh, I'm nowhere near that creep fest. I'll, uh, I'll stand guard out here. Of course you will. <gasps> oh, Jenny! Jenny's in here! What the fuck? Jenny! Hello, mister! Hey, kiddo. Are you here to take 
me home? Yeah, I am. Yep. Good, I'm hungry. That sounds and the sounds are downstairs are scaring me. Yeah, let's get out of here. What the fuck was that? Not so fast, detective! She's got a gun! Where's Zuli? That daft cop? I knocked him out! I can't have you snooping around anymore, so I'm going to trap you here! At, at least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'm her legal guardian, after all. It's my job to look after her, especially if anything should happen to her parents. Say, for example, getting trapped in Dark Side's version of their bedroom! That's what this is about? An inheritance scheme? You have to admit, it's a fairly perfect crime. Even if you do get rid of me, then what? She knows she knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid. If she's so smart, she'll know to keep her mouth shut! Okay, well what about Dooley? He'll wake up and he'll know what happened. Hmm, good point. I'll just have to get you to drag him in here with you. Come on! Oh my god, Dooley. God damn it. Ugh. <clears throat> Uh. Don't waste my time trying to sweet. Don't waste time trying to sweet talk your way out of this. I, I won't, Jenny. I'm scared, Mister. Paint cans. I knew these paint can buckets were having to knock someone out. Uh, demonic doorway. Oh, I can't go back through. I'll have to think of something else fast. Oh, oh, the lamp. Take the bulb out of the lamp. Right, right, right. Uh, wait. Can I go down? One more step and I'll shoot, Detective. Now get hauling. Paint thinner. Oh, spill the paint thinner. Have a taste of your own medicine, bitch. No! Nice. Well, that problem's solvent. I didn't like that. Come on, Jenny. Let's wake up Dooley so I can tell him my pun. Pretend it's the first time you've heard it, okay? Um, okay, mister. We did it. We solved the crime, Dooley. So the kid got into the nanny stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself in that creepy attic? The dark side. But that's a surprisingly useful summary of things, yes. Shame the nanny was certifiable. She was a looker. And a hooker. Dooley. She was dabbling in the dark arts, with a plan to trap innocent people in a parallel world, kidnap their kid, and steal all their cash. I said it was a shame, jeez. I wonder where the nanny got the occult books from anyway. That stuff is hard to find these days. A case for another day, I guess. First of all, I have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess. Alright, was that the end? Is that the end? Sweet! Case closed! Oh, this is just the demo? Oh, there's gonna be more? Awesome! Okay, cool! Uh, I definitely want to play more of this. The Dark Side Detective. This game just came out, or the demo, I guess, just came out. I really want to play more. This is really cool. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, too. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video at all, do me a huge favor and hit the like button down below. I really appreciate it, and uh, you guys are just awesome. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. That way you can keep up to date with all my new videos, and I will see you guys later. Bye.